In 1897, landowner George C. Tillyou opened Steeplechase Park. Steeplechase Park, a family-oriented amusement park, embraced the thrills of a horse race as its theme. It would eventually become the longest-running amusement park in Coney Island history. French Voyage, House Upside Down, Ballroom, Satin Theater, Cabaret de la Mort, Dante's Inferno, Cave of the Winds, House of Too Much Trouble. Will furnish admission and the 16 attractions above stated for 25 cents per ticket besides the use of a special ballroom and band. The said ballroom is the finest in America. In addition to the above attractions, there are some 50 free attractions in this park. Steeplechase Park covers 7 million feet of Coney Island's garden spot. History of Coney Island. Lists and photographs of main attractions. With Steeplechase, the funny place, thriving, other itinerant amusements began to flourish in Coney Island. In front of the Sea Beach Palace passes Surf Avenue, the main thoroughfare of the island. It is absolutely hemmed in by the multitude of booths, merry-go-rounds, tents, dime museums, restaurants, photograph galleries, camera obscuras, roller slides, hot sausage vendors, and the thousand and one devices and occupations which make West Brighton a perpetual fair. We have described, and our engravings illustrate, only a few of the sights to be seen at Coney Island on a summer's day. The place is ever-changing, ever-attractive. Its development, a seaside pleasure ground for New York and Brooklyn, which began less than a decade since, has reached immense proportions, but its capabilities are unlimited, and for many years to come, each succeeding summer will see it assuming more and more the aspect of a city on the sands. In 1903, Coney Island's next great park rose on the north side of Surf Avenue. Luna Park, the heart of Coney Island, portrayed a fantastical vision of a trip to the moon. In an age when electricity was considered a luxury, Luna Park was bedecked by thousands of lights which made it glow at night. Luna Park, the heart of Coney Island, encloses nearly 40 acres of land and is one of the favorite playgrounds of the citizens of Greater New York. The entrance is through a massive archway fronting on Surf Avenue. On the inside, where were once stagnant pools of tidewater and ramshackle buildings, are now gorgeous pleasure palaces and broad promenades of cement permanently built on thousands of piles. During the past season, over six millions of admissions were paid at the gate. Views of Coney Island, L. H. Nelson Company, 1907. Selena was German, her friend's name was Herman, he loved her so you know the rest. Let us eat, write her, and often invite her to go out to some Houston fair. But now he discovers a real place for lovers, there are few nights that they'll ever miss. So his invitations have changed their locations, and now they read something like this. Meet me down at Luna Lina, meet me at the gate. Luna is the point in Lina, I'll be there at any day. We'll make a trip up to the moon, for that is the place for a love. So meet me down at Luna Lina, down at Luna Yet 
don't forget home and play the cornet and Zulina, his music was grand. As a musician, he got a position to play in a big German band. Each time that he goes to her house, now he blows on his horn to this side come in. Her heart fills with joy as she hears her dear boy play a tune that goes something like this. Meet me down at Lunatina, meet me at the gate.